Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. Um, this is Monica and I'm doing our week ahead reading. These are timeless, so whenever you feel drawn to watch the video, that's when you should watch it. Technically, we are looking at the week of May 2nd. Um, but again, whenever you feel drawn to watch the video, don't get hung up on um, the date. Um, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much if you have. Really appreciate all the support. Um, I know I've been MIA, MIA for a little bit. Um, there's just been a lot of different changes, very beautiful changes, but a lot of different changes in my life uh, in the past weeks. And I'm just navigate, navigating things and trying to figure out what the new normal is. Um, and I'm going to get there, I'm going to get there, but yeah, I've missed a few readings, so sorry about that. And thank you for your patience. Uh, we're just going to jump in, so I'm going to go through all the signs every through to Pisces. I'm going to be doing the timestamp, so you'll find them in the description box below. I'm using the Lucid Dreams Beginners Tarot deck with keywords, if you can see, this has got a nice little glow, but, and the Spirit Animal Oracle to uh, clarify or to pull just Oracle messages to tie things together. Okay. All right. All that being said, I hope you're doing well where you are. Hope you're safe healthy and happy. I'm sending you all my love. And I'm sure I'll, I'm forgetting to say something, but <laughs> I'll remember when I finish the reading probably. All right, so we're just going to get started because I don't like long intros. Okay, so we're going to begin with Aries. Hey Aries, how you doing? Let's see what the week ahead has in store for you. What do you need to know? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You can watch your other placements as well. That's something I forgot to say in the intro. What's coming up in the week ahead for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? Okay, so in the situation we have the Sun, very nice. The challenge, the Nine of Pentacles, well, not much of a challenge. And in the outcome, the Three of Wands, very nice. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands. So you've been you've been working on something, Aries. You've been very, very busy with the Ten of Wands. You've been carrying uh, several burdens, is what I'm going to say. Or you've taken on so much that it got difficult to keep moving forward, but you just... You found the strength to power through okay so this is something either something that you've been working on for forever one thing in particular and it's just been taking a, a lot of time and energy and resources to come together um, or it's keeping track of a lot of different things for yourself for your loved ones for your job for whatever and just keeping everything moving in a positive direction or it could be one thing that you know, there's just been so many delays, so many back and forths, but you persevered with it, even though it was a burden. You have some sort of a victory coming up when it comes to that. And this is a number 10, so it's the end of the burden. Okay, so this is success, recognition, reward, victory, a very personal and individual type of victory. Okay, you did that. This isn't, you know, you winning as part of the team. You did that. You carried everything on your own shoulders. Uh, you figured it out on your on your own you know you might have gotten guidance and advice and inspiration and and uh, that kind of that kind of an input but you had to do the work and by god did you right your challenge nine of pentacles i'm seeing the challenge of the nine of pentacles as be careful um well how do I put this? Not everyone gets to come with you, okay? Because the Ten of Wands does talk about carrying the burden, not just for yourself, but for others, when actually they could do that for themselves. You know what I mean? So with the Nine of Pentacles, it's time to give some of those burdens back. With your own success, with your own victory here, you can say, you know what? Um, I could help before, and I have been, slash enabling other, actually, because they just kept letting you do it. Um... But I've got so much going on for myself right now that I can't do this anymore. I can't do this for you anymore. You're going to have to take it back and sort it out yourself, right? And it can be a bit of a challenge because obviously that's going to rub some people the wrong way. But you know what? The people who have an issue with that are the people who were irresponsible in the first place and who kind of took advantage of you by letting you do their work for them, 
okay? And in the outcome, we have the Three of Wands. So this is planning for your own future, setting off on a new horizon. I This is a massive win that enables you to move now or to start looking at places, to buy your own place, um, to move to a different city, to move to a better area, to move to a different country, to move overseas for some of you. Or this is a very, very intense victory here that for some of you, this is overcoming depression. This is a, a, an internal transformation that has been going on for a long time. Um, and this is where it's now external, right? Everyone sees it and they're actually attracting new people and new types of opportunities and situations to you to match your new energy, okay? And your challenge is, well, know who you are and know your worth and be discerning in who you choose to spend time with or who you choose to take with you on this new journey that you're about to embark upon, right? So let's get more information here for Aries, but it's amazing. So with the sun in the situation, we have the moon. Yeah, I'm just missing the stars. Um, with the nine of pentacles, we have the king of pentacles. Yep. And the three of wands, we have the five of wands. Yep. Under the ten of wands, we have the magician. What did I just say? You have done the work. You have manifested this. You've put in the effort in the 3D and the 5D. Okay. It, it took a lot out of you or it took a lot from you is what I'm seeing and hearing here. Um but it's a lot of it has to do with you taking charge and you taking accountability and you taking responsibility for yourself for your own actions for your own patterns for your own good behaviors bad behaviors etc right this is also to do with the moon i'm seeing it as to do with a dream a long-held dream of yours something you have been praying for for a long time but like i say it's not just been you praying for it you've also done the actual work to get yourself there and that's why this is such a massive win and there's something around the moon as well i don't know when we have a new moon or a full moon um but you might see this transpire um around those times right yeah, King. with the Nine of Pentacles, we have the King of Pentacles. Whatever the success is, it will impact your finances in a very positive way. Uh, or your sense of security or your health, okay? Bringing stability, prosperity, abundance in those terms, okay? Um, and it's coming up as a challenge because, like I say, you're going to be attracting a lot of different people because of the success. Because with the Sun card, there's an element of fame and popularity. Everyone knows you're now making this kind of money. Everyone knows you're a successful entrepreneur. Everyone knows you're the best at this and that and the other, and you're starting to see the results of that, right? So with that, you're gonna be attracting maybe less than savory people, and maybe the people that have already been in your life may try to stake a claim right to say they helped you in some way when no they didn't they actually put more burdens on you do you know what i mean because with the three of wands we also have the five of wands so change and change but also there's an element of conflict and tension with the five of wands people competing for your attention people trying to get stuff out of you or get some stuff from you um but you have your back to that okay so you're turning your back on whoever it is and whatever it is um that has caused you to have to bear this burden for so long you're saying okay i've done that i've done my part i've done more than my part actually you can take that back now this is not a negotiation this is not a conversation i'm not asking for permission or your opinion this is what's fair this is what's right i'm going to now focus on myself because i deserve to do, have that opportunity and to give myself that opportunity and you're just going to have to figure out what you want to do from here so you might be doing some uh, clean in house in terms of your connections, whether it's to do with friends and families, romantic interests, people you've known for forever, but it's like now they're more, they're trying to be more present because you're doing so well and they're trying to say, oh yeah, I'm friends with Aries, I'm their best friend, but actually, you know, when you needed them, they weren't there, is that kind of a dynamic? And these people are gonna be creeping up from the woodworks and you will be seeing them a mile off, okay? But, you know, there is some sort of, people trying to stir the pot, stir the pot, or people trying to cause drama or people trying to guilt you into doing things, which may have worked before, but as a result of this complete victory and transformation in and out, 
you see the patterns you see the true intentions you see who deserves to be in your life and who doesn't you see when it's just time to move on and you're completely at peace with it things just flow i'm loving this for you aries you're gonna have to tell me what this is about but it's pretty awesome and i'm very very happy for you so let's see oracle energy and advice for aries for the week ahead and get two cards and the one at the bottom of the deck bottom of the deck we have be spirit sweet results await yeah absolutely for a lot of hard work for a lot of hard work you have been such a busy bee and now sweet results milk and honey abundance richness cornucopia okay is words that i hear so take that however it makes sense to you i do see a lot of it being actual money uh and security and stability in that sense but your your uh, sense of security can also come from a romantic relationship where you're completely secure in or a friendship that gives you a sense of stability and security and anchors you down and you have someone to trust and rely on no matter what you know what i mean it's that kind of an energy dragonfly spirit truth transcends illusion i just got the chills 22. yeah you're definitely seeing who deserves to come with you who needs to be left behind there's no need for chaos there's no need for drama you're not in that space you just want to be done you just want to move on turn your back and not have to deal with you know this these people or this person or whatever the situation is groundhog what did i just say groundhog spirit time to let go and you're more than happy to do that you're like yep i've done this I don't have to do that anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. And thankfully, because of the success that I have, I don't actually have to do that anymore. It's a choice. Whereas before, maybe it wasn't, right? But this is elevation. It's a whole nother level. You can afford to do things differently. And by that, I mean financially or mentally, spiritually, energetically, emotionally. You can afford to do things differently. You have resources you did not have before. You have an understanding that you did not have before. You have experience you did not have before. Does that make sense? You have a strength you did not have before. And it's time to walk away from whatever was chaos, illusion, delusion in your life, whether it's an actual person, a situation, a pattern, a bad habit, a thought pattern, um, whatever this is, okay? But this is amazing. You're gonna have to tell me what you're doing and what you're dealing with, Aries, but it's awesome, let me tell you that. So come back and tell me what this is about. Share your good news. Okay, let me put these away. Sorry, that was loud. And we're going to move on to Taurus. Hey Taurus, thank you for joining me. And if you are skipping ahead, please make sure to watch the intro as well. And also watch your sun, your moon, your rising, or your Venus sign readings as well. I forgot to say that in the intro. What is going on for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And happy birthday Taurus, actually going on for Taurus in the week ahead in this situation we have the eight of wands in the challenge we have the six of swords in the outcome we have justice very nice bottom of the deck we have the four of swords so with the four of swords it's the time of contemplation uh, it's pause it's recovery it's going within meditating figuring things out um, looking for balance looking to restore peace within and, and without okay um externally in the three day it may translate into a time of a break a pause not a lot going on so what i'm seeing is you may have withdrawn from something taurus and have been focusing on your health your mental health your emotional health your spiritual health have been focusing on establishing re-establishing restoring balance and peace in your world in and out now external to you what's going on is with the eight of wands things are coming in thick and fast okay even though you took a break from something things are coming in thick and fast offers opportunities your challenge with the six of swords is to leave this place of safety right comfort zone with the four of swords you're protected there uh, to leave this space of safety and comfort zone um, in order to embark upon a new path, okay? To trust that you've learned your lessons, to trust that you've done the recovery you have had to do, um, and now you're strong enough to get back out there to take advantage 
right? Get back on the roller coaster, get back on that carousel wheel, um, get back into the swing of things. And in the outcome, we have justice. And with justice, this is big decisions. This could be a contract that you're entering. This could be a, a fated connection that you're making at this time, whether it's a, it's in terms of romance or a friendship or partnership in business, whatever the case may be. I also see something that has to do with paperwork, documentation, the legal system, and it may have been delayed or put on pause maybe several times. I'm seeing that now pick up speed and it's it's like the last push. This time it does go through, this time it is completed, this time you have the verdict, the settlement, the end decision, and you can put this to rest, okay? I'm also seeing, I don't know why, um, well, we're getting close to the Mercury retrograde energy. I can't remember when it's going to start sometime in May. <laughs> um, but I'm seeing if you have been on a break from someone or you've been separated and you've been focusing on getting yourself back together, like you yourself in yourself, uh, to heal, to recover, to restore, you might receive messages. You might be receiving messages thick and fast from that person. And the challenge is to move on, right? The challenge is to make the right decision. And remember, there's consequences to every action. I do feel like I need to say that, so take that as it resonates with you, if it does. And you already know the truth of a situation, nothing's changed, so make your decisions accordingly. I also feel like you were the one to walk away and your challenge is to keep walking. Does that make sense? Let's get more clarity here for Taurus. So with the Eight of Wands, yeah, we have the Four of Pentacles. Someone has not been able to let you go. With the Six of Swords is the challenge. We have the Ace of Wands. To keep going towards a new beginning as opposed to turning back into something that is trying to get you back. In the outcome, we have the Queen of Wands with Justice. So we have Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have Libra Energy here as well. Um, under the Four of Swords, yeah, we have the Ace of Cups. Interesting. So you have two Aces on the table here. And it's a case of do you go back to what is familiar because they're kind of love bombing you? Or do you keep going towards something different with the Ace of Wands? So you might be looking at two different people at this time. Or you're looking at do I go back to the past or do I carry on towards this other direction? Focusing on myself and being happy within myself. Or, you know, potentially leading you to a new person. Okay, it's about, I will say Taurus, the decisions that you're making will have long-term consequences with the Justice card there and that message about consequences that wanted to come through, I feel like is very, very important. So the message here is you already know everything you need to know about the situation, whether you trust, you can trust someone or not, whether someone has really changed or not, whether someone is capable of change or not, whether this person is going to ever keep their promises to you or not, or whether it's, you know, a romantic partner or something going on with family member, with a boss, with, you know what I mean? Just take it as it makes sense to you. I'm reading the energy, but you already know everything you need to know to make your decision. More than that, you've already made your decision to walk away. So it becomes a case of, are you going to trust the decision you made? Are you going to trust your reasoning in making that decision? Because nothing's changed or be tempted to go back to something that is overflowing. Someone is just throwing everything at you but the kitchen sink in terms of promises, but they're not grounded. And they've done this before several times, okay? So be mindful of that. It's, it's decisions that you're making have long-term consequences, so I will kind of leave it at that, okay? You're gonna have to figure out what's best for you. You already have figured out what's best for you. This is like a test of, you know, let's make sure Taurus gets it. Let's test Taurus and see if they really have thought this through, if they really feel what they're saying, or if they're just telling themselves something, but actually they can be tempted back at any moment, right? Now, the good news with being tested in this kind of a circumstance is if you do stay true to yourself and you go with the decision that you made initially, because you've already made your decision, based on a lot of sound reasoning, right? Um, 
that will open up new doors for you okay something new exciting new job new person new way of life a new you right transformation this could be you turning into the queen of wands confidence excitement passion independence self-assured you don't need anyone to assure you you don't need anyone compliment you. you you know who you are you know how beautiful you are you know how gorgeous you are you know how strong you are do you know what i mean so i'm gonna pull some oracles to tie this together oracle energy and advice for taurus for the week ahead but yeah just be mindful you know there's a test coming up and the the, the i mean what the thing to remember is you already know the answer <laughs> you already know the answer bottom of the deck grasshopper spirit take a leap of faith and this is talking about three is is a number of new beginning new level growth expansion taking a chance you know taking a chance on something new taking a chance on okay i want to see what is out there with that ace of wands as well coyote spirit trust in divine detours mm -hmm. number 16 you know your truth you know the truth of the situation trust that if something did not come together it, it's because it wasn't meant to and that there's a good reason be behind that because it wasn't right for you or good for you or what you deserved and i feel like that is what has been happening in the past situation that you've decided to move away from there was a lot of stop and start and stop energy there was a lot of empty promises there was a lot of getting your hopes up and having them crushed or disappointed there was a lot of on again off again relationship type there was a lot of I'm going to quit and the boss says no listen give me a little bit more time I'm working on this for you you give him time it never happens that kind of energy right and it's telling us here trust that you see the truth in that situation and trust that it didn't come together for a reason and it's something to just be released you've learned from it you've grown as a result of it it has prepared you for what you truly deserve which is elsewhere okay dove spirit be peace another number three it's time to level up it's time to expand to grow and you have two doves here so the new path the peace that you're looking for the the, the calm the serenity the love the the feeling of of just feeling at peace is not in the past situation the past is coming in making promises but what is under the ace of cups the knight of wands they have a, a specific goal in mind whether it's the passion whether it's them being impulsive and it's like i'm just going to say whatever i have to say to get taurus to stay or to get taurus to come back i haven't thought of, about it beyond that you know what i mean so i will leave that with you're gonna have to make your own decisions but like i say for some of you you already have a second option to go to which is probably why the past is coming back right for others of you you don't have a particular second option to come in but you have this hopeful and this excited nature towards the, pu the future and what's possible and what's you know available um what you want to do this queen of wands energy right and yeah you just have to make some decisions here to establish re-establish what you really want to do where you really want to go and the the decisions you're making at this time will have long-term consequences for better or for worse with the justice card there so i will leave that with you okay so i hope everything makes sense if you're dealing with these energies like i say good news is you already have the answers to the test it's just submitting that paper one last time and then you can be done with this all right moving on to gemini hey gemini thank you for joining me and if you're skipping ahead please make sure to watch the intro as well there's information for you there also watch your sun your moon your rising and your venus sign readings for more information what's going on for gemini sun moon rising venus signs in the week ahead situation we have the eight of pentacles the challenge is the four of wands and the outcome is the six of wands bottom of the deck the four of pentacles for some of you i'm se i'm seeing spending a lot of money 
because you're buying your dream home or because you're moving. You have the money because you've been working for it and saving for it, okay? But this could be the time when you're making that purchase. Um, for others of you, you, you either have been or will now start to um, work very hard towards a promotion. I see a fast win if that's the case with the Six of Wands. And for others, this is maintaining a balance. You have to maintain a balance between work and play. I'm seeing a lot of very happy events taking you away from your work while at the same time work being busy. Okay. Um, and it's a case of planning, budgeting, right? Planning your time um, to stay on top of things. Remember, we're just looking at the week ahead here, right? So it's not going to be forever. But there's a lot going on with work, a lot of good stuff, a lot of money to be made. Um, and there's a lot going on in your love life or your family life or your social life that's also very beautiful and, and something you want to be a part of, right? And it's just a case of maintaining that balance. Let's get more information here for Gemini. So, Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, with the Four of Wands, the Page of Cups, and with the Six of Wands, the Magician. Under the Four of Pentacles, we have Death. There's a massive shift happening here, a massive new beginning for you, Gemini. Your advice is to, come on camera, um, go with it. Don't hold on to things. Definitely don't hold on to things that are going away or changing. Or changing drastically what you may not realize initially as things are changing is that this is exactly what you've been trying to manifest you may not have seen it happening in this way but the end result will is, is is exactly what you've been trying to manifest does that make sense so you're meeting the love of your life for some of you right ace of cups page of cups four of wands you're meeting the love of your life you're meeting the one you're going to marry you're meeting the one you're going to have family with settle down with grow old with or you may have already met this person and this is a time to invest to dive deep to open up to be vulnerable but you're thinking yeah i wanted to meet the love of my life but i just don't have time for it right now <laughs> i'm just so busy right now can't they come back you know can can they just you know go around the block one more time and then give me a little bit more time to sort this out and then i can be ready for them type energy or here is your dream job here is your dream opportunity but you have to travel more for it, or you have to relocate for it, or you have to re-establish balance and boundaries in terms of work and play, in terms of time you have available for others or versus work, uh, time of you have available for your partner, your couple goals versus your work goals, um, that kind of an energy. It's going to take some shifts. This could be pregnancy, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups happening. And it's something that, you know, you've been trying to manifest, you've been thinking about it, but it's like, I was I wasn't in, the feeling that I'm getting is I didn't expect it to happen so fast I didn't expect it to happen now yes it's something I want yes it's a, it's a wish I've always had yes it's a it's a lifelong dream for me I just don't think I'm ready for it right now if it's coming to you right now it's because you're ready for it right now is something that I want to say okay these are all amazing cards and it's a new level in your life it's something you've never done before right so I do see like moving moving abroad buying your first home um or buying a bigger home this is growth and expansion changing job or changing career starting your own business and taking a chance on that meeting the love of your life or proposing or moving in together and you know maybe you've just never gotten to that point before with someone else or you weren't you never felt as easy as in, as, as 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 comfortable doing that with someone else before now does that make sense pregnancy is happening here a new level a new level a new stage in your life that you've been manifesting wishing for praying for and i just get the sense of i don't i didn't expect it to happen this fast i don't think i'm ready 
But again, if it's here for you now, it's because you're ready for it now. Okay, so take comfort in those words if you if you can. And just go for it. Just go for it. Let's see. Oracle energy and advice for Gemini. Awesome energy, Gemini. Well, that's too many. But Badger Spirit, be fearless and bold. I was just saying, go for it. Be fearless. Go big or go home. If it looks like it's too big or too good to be true, this is just saying, just, just go with it. Bottom of the deck. Armadillo Spirit, set healthy boundaries. This is, I feel like this is setting boundaries for yourself with yourself. Telling yourself, okay, mind, go on mute for a minute because this is overthinking. Why? Because you're not feeling... It feels like it's a lot, it feels like it's too much, and it's making you defensive with the armadillo spirit. It may make you feel like, I want to I want to withdraw, I want to retreat, I'm, I want to feel safe and secure again. I didn't plan this to happen now, or in this exact way, so I don't know if I can trust it, okay? Set healthy boundaries is telling you, okay, you need to sit down and have some conversations with yourself, Gemini, of, you know, what is it? a healthy concern versus irrational fear because you're feeling vulnerable okay time to sit down and have those conversations dolphin spirit this <laughs> this and that are true yep you can trust this what i just say you can trust this and dolphins make me think of just joy positivity fun excitement i do see pregnancies and children being a factor here for a lot of you gemini um it's a it's a gift whatever's coming up for you is a gift and it's true and it's genuine and you can trust it elephant spirit learn from the past no it's not a repeat of the past the past has hurt you the past has created the shell but this is different it's like I said, there's something very different about it with the death card there. You haven't been here before. Maybe you've gone through the motions before, but you've never felt as comfortable, as safe, at, as at ease going through those motions. Does that make sense? Maybe you did something because it's what you do, but you never really felt like this is what you want to do. It's something that you just, you're expected to do. You're expected to find a good paying job. But maybe it's not, you know, what you truly love to do, but you've been afraid to to challenge that and to be like, you know what, no, I'm going to I'm gonna really think about what I really want to do and that's what I'm going to do. Or you move in with someone because you're expected to after a certain point that you've been together. But maybe you never really felt like you wanted to or you didn't even ask yourself, do I want to do this? It's like it's what you do. It's what others expect of you. Where... Again, now you're moving in with someone, so it's the same action, but very different feeling, very different meaning. Does that make sense? So, Gemini, I will leave that with you. I hope it makes sense, and I hope it helps you if you are dealing with these energies. But it's, it's an amazing reading. So I hope you make the most out of these energies, okay? Let me try to put the light on. It's going to go very bright. I do apologize until I adjust the settings there we go it's a little better okay cancer hey cancer thank you for joining us and if you are skipping ahead please make sure to watch the intro as well um and also watch hi, hi priestess um your sun your moon your rising and your venus sign readings for more information What's going on for Cancer, Summer Rising, Venus signs in the week ahead? Cancer, Summer Rising, Venus signs in the week ahead. Situation is the Knight of Swords. The challenge is strength. Okay, watch that temper, Cancer. Outcome, Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. Oh, who has ticked you off, Cancer? Who has ticked you off? The Queen of Swords is like the flip side of the Queen of Cups sometimes for me, right? Where it's like, it's just no emotion. 
um, you can go from being very loving and caring and nurturing to completely closed off emotionally. Why? Because, well, you've been taken advantage of. And it's, it's I hear ruthless with the Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords. I see ruthless energy in these cards. What I want to say is, there's a way to do things. I feel like you've been holding back, holding your tongue for the longest time, Cancer. For the longest time. Um, you know, okay, I can't say that. Keep the peace. Be understanding. Maybe they're having a bad day. You know, I have to be more patient. I have to be more understanding. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm irrational. Maybe I'm unreasonable, right? And just holding back, holding back, holding back. While in the meantime, this other person, people, party, just kept doing what they were doing. And then more. And then more. The more you tried to be understanding, the more they took. You know what I mean? The more you tried to give them a second chance, they took another five from you. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of an energy. Which, in turn, just built more pressure on you. Now, the Knight of Swords can be a conflict energy. Why? Because he just says what he has to say. And he can be very blunt slash hurtful. Because... He's just, this is like the Knight of Swords with the Strength card. Everything you've been holding back on, every single thing you wanted to say and then bit your tongue, it's all going to come out, like blurt it out. Okay? Um, and it's one of them where once it starts coming out, everything's going to start coming out. You're going to be talking or shouting at that person in front of you or the people in front of you for a good few minutes getting everything out and I feel like once that's out it's, this is like drop the mic energy with the ten of swords I'm done I've said what I had to say I'm done I've, I'm literally done there's no more feeling there there's no more emotion there there's no more patience there there's nothing more I can give you or want to give you you've taken advantage you've had your fill no more okay Let's get more information here for Cancer. With the Knight of Swords, the Lovers. This could be going on in a partnership. Romantic partnership. With the Strength card, Ace of Pentacles. You might have stayed because of responsibility or you might have stayed because of the financial security you had in that relationship or that connection. Uh, or if it's at a job, obviously you stayed for the money and the security or the promise of money and security. And the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, for a lot of you, this will be about your relationship, your, your romantic relationship. Further, this will be about your relationship with family or your, your community, extended family. Under the Queen of Swords, we have the Ten of Wands. This has been a long time coming, Cancer. A long time coming. You've you have held your uh, tongue for a very long time to keep the peace. To keep the peace, or again, because, because of a sense of responsibility or because of the sense of stability that person or those people gave you, the resources you shared. But... It's coming to an end because they've just, just taken advantage. They just have been getting away with things. The more you were lenient, the more, the further they went or farther they went in their approach with their words, with taking advantage, with disregarding you. Okay, this is where you're trying to be diplomatic and keep the peace. So you're not going to say something when they hurt your feelings, giving them the benefit of the doubt. And then to them, it just ends up completely ignoring and disregarding even the possibility that maybe they hurt your feelings. They're just doing what they're doing and saying what they want to say. Right? It's that kind of an energy. And it just got out of hand. And you have three tens here. So you're definitely putting an end to a relationship with a spouse 
a partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, a very close friend, a very significant friend, or family. Okay, family, community. And you're saying, you know what, I don't need, I don't want your support. I don't want your money. I don't want this security and stability that you give me or, or I get by being with you or near you. I don't want it because it comes with too many strings attached and it comes with too many sacrifices on my part. I have to sacrifice who I am to fit in. I have to sacrifice who I am to please you. And you've been doing that for a very long time. And you're not having it anymore. You're just not having it. Okay? And you're putting an end to it. Very, very big transformations happening here. This could also be a case of your choices constantly being challenged, questioned, or you told you're wrong. You shouldn't be doing that. Every step of the way. And maybe you found something that is truly near and dear to your heart. Something or someone. And maybe you've had to sacrifice that. Because friends, family, community told you you shouldn't be doing that. And judged you for it. So to keep the peace, you sacrificed. And what happened? They're still not happy. They're still not impressed with you. They're still not happy with you. They still expect too much of you. Okay, so we're looking at the final straw here, and then you kind of, like I say, there's going to be an impulse, an impulsive, you're not planning to do this, something's going to happen, you're just going to snap, everything's going to come out, and then at the end of that will be, I'm done. And you're done, you're literally done, there's nothing more. You have been torn with the lovers. You have been torn. And I feel like you've come to the point where you understand that you cannot please others. And others' views and expectations of you are not your truth. Okay? What's going on for Cancer, someone rising, Venus signs, Oracle energy and advice? One. To parrot spirit, watch your words. I'm telling you, something's going to come out. You're not going to be able to stop yourself once you start. Or this could be vice versa, so just, just a heads up, okay? But I feel like for the most part, it's you. And once it starts, you won't stop until you get everything out. Porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind. Yep, you're like, I've had enough, I'm done. I am done. Those spines, the spine, yeah, those needles or whatever you call them on the porcupine, um, are about to come out. And you're stinging who you need to sting. Your words are going out, and then you're done. And I'm like, you're you're saying, okay, new beginning. That's it. I'm done. Wombat spirit, be at home. Yeah, you're moving, for some of you, literally. You're physically moving away from these people or this person. Or you're moving in a new direction. You're moving in a direction that is just for you. What you think is best for you. You don't care what others are going to say. Maybe for once in your life. For the first time in your life. You don't feel at home with family. You don't feel at home with your community, within your community. Why? Because they just disregard you. They, they disconsider you. Is that a word? And you have been holding your tongue for long enough. And like I say, it's just going to come out. At the end of it, you'll be like, that's it. I'm done. i got nothing more to say to you. I never want to see you again. Good luck to you. And then you're focusing on what really makes me happy. Where do I really want to go? Where do I want to live? What do I want to do with my life? What, what is my dream job? Who is my dream partner? Or you're choosing to go with, you've already found the dream job, partner, place to live, way to be, way of life, I don't know. And it's a case of, you might be talking about it to your friends and family, they're going to start with same old, same old, to break it down. Why? Because you made that choice without considering them, without asking for their permission. 
and you're telling them this makes me happy and they're saying you didn't ask us about that you can't say that how who are you to decide that, that makes you happy you should have run it by us which is messed up but that's what I'm seeing and that will flip the switch and yeah and good for you cancer good for you because it is time for a new begin a new beginning that is yours that makes you happy and you alone okay so I will leave that with you you don't have to tell me what's going on but if you are dealing with these energies I hope the reading helps you okay it's time for some boundaries and some cutting of ties and cutting of cords with things and people that just wear you down tear you down don't allow you to be who you are okay moving on to leo hey leo how you doing thank you for joining us so we're going to see what's coming up in the week ahead for leo sun and rising venus signs watch your other signs as well What's going on in the week ahead for Leo? What is going on in the week ahead for Leo? In the situation, we have the King of Wands, could be your energy. In the challenge, we have the Eight of Pentacles. In the outcome, we have the Lovers. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. Hmm. I'm seeing a few different things. With the Emperor, we have Aries energy. This could also be an Aries, Aries Leo Sag energy. With the Lovers, we have Gemini, if that matters to you in any way. What I'm seeing here, you're going to be given a choice, Leo. Two amazing opportunities. One, on your level, or what you think is your level. And another, that will challenge you to elevate you can still do it but it will challenge you to elevate to up your game so day to day you can meet someone you get on with right you get along you understand each other you have a nice time you have a good time together and then you meet someone that there's just something more there with the lover's energy there is a spiritual bond Okay, not just mental, not just physical, not just emotional. There's a spiritual element to it. There's an intense bond. But it comes with challenges. You'll have to up your game. What does that mean? Address bad behaviors, unhealthy patterns, to heal parts of yourself that will make you a better and more whole can we say person and then partner and it'll be the same for them okay and it's your choice get offered a job it's around what you think you know what you're comfortable doing and what you're comfortable making in terms of money then you're also offered management roles leadership roles where you have to up your game. There might be some additional training you have to take. There might be some additional studies you have to do. It comes with new challenges you haven't faced before. You're managing people now. Or you're in charge of a lot of different things now and it's a lot of responsibility. You could do it, no problem. But it will challenge you to grow. Or you could go with the one that, you know, it's, fun. it's nice and easy, it's comfortable. It's still a good opportunity, don't get me wrong. It's down to you what you want to do. If you're comfortable where you are, you can stay where you are, it's a good opportunity. But there's something else coming in that will challenge you. It will bring you more everything. Deeper love, more money, a new level of security, a new level of independence. It will transform you as a person because it will push your boundaries. It's your choice, what you want to do, which one you want to go with. Let's get more clarity here for Leo. King of Wands, we have the Four of Swords. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands. And with the Lovers, we have the Fool. 
Under the Emperor, we have Death. What did I say? I love it when these cards just tie together and confirm everything we're saying here. Next level stuff is on the table for you, Leo. That doesn't mean if you don't go for the next level, you know, it's, that's a bad thing. No. You have the luxury of choosing what you're comfortable with. That being said, don't let your comfort zone turn into a gilded cage. You know, where you're sitting comfortably for so long that you don't know how to move. You forget how to move because you've been just sitting there comfortably. Does that make sense? You forget how to hustle. You forget how to feel driven. Does that make sense? You've been in your comfort zone for a sort. Day in, day out. You know what to expect. You know what to do. Same old, same old. And that's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. Eight of Pentacles, the challenge. Something that will will make you feel like the apprentice again. It will make you feel like, oh my God, I don't, there's so much I don't know. There's so much that I need to learn and fast. And that puts you on guard and that puts you on, on your on your heels, right? With the Nine of Wands, like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I want to do this. But with the Lovers and the Fool, like I say, it's your choice. The Lovers, the Fool, Death and the Emperor, though, if this is being offered to you, whatever this is, it's because you are ready. It's because you deserve a level up. Don't be frightened or put off by any extra work you might have to do. You'll be able to do it. Change is not comfortable by definition, but it won't break you. It won't bring chaos right? It'll just be a lot of new things, a lot of different things. But the more you go through them, the more you learn. The more you learn, the more you grow. And before you know it, this new level is your new normal, your new comfort zone. Does that make sense? So you're going to have to tell me what that is. With all these majors, it can be anything. But you have... Nevertheless, two amazing opportunities in front of you and your advice, I want to see what oracles come out for you, but your advice is to be honest with yourself. If you feel like saying no to a, a, an, an opportunity that would ask you to elevate up your game, why would you feel like saying no? Is it because of a place of fear, self-doubt? Oracle energy and advice for Leo in the week ahead to help them make their decisions. Bottom of the deck, Badger Spirit, be fearless and bold. Number four, you are ready. You are ready. And what I also heard is you can always go back to this. Give this your best shot, the new level. Give it your best shot, but also have fun doing it with the full. Just try it out, see what happens. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. And if it doesn't work out, if you still don't feel comfortable with it, if you, for whatever reason, is like, no, nah, this is too much, you can always go back to this level. Not a problem. Does that make sense? But you're being encouraged to be fearless, to take a chance, to go all in with the full. Have some fun. Try it out. See what happens. Don't overthink it. You're in a defensive position because you're overthinking it. But what you're overthinking is not even the relevant information. You don't have the information. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You've never been here before. You don't even know what to expect. So what exactly are you overthinking? Does that make sense? Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. So for a lot of you, it will be in love. 41, change. But for, for others, this is loving what you do. Snake spirit, time to heal. 55, another energy of change. It's time to heal. You've been in your comfort zone. But how did you get to your comfort zone? Well, you got to your comfort zone because you were healing from something, Four of Swords. And you had to 
put up some walls and restore some foundations and restore some boundaries to feel safe. And that's your comfort zone. You've healed whatever it was that put you in your comfort zone. You've healed it. It's time to shed the skin of the old and be bold, I'm rhyming, and just go for this opportunity. Just see where it takes you. Like I say, if for whatever reason it doesn't work out or you don't like it, you can always go back to what you knew. However that makes sense, okay? But you're encouraged to give yourself a shot. Just go for it and see what happens. Have some fun with it. It's going to be life-changing, though, in a very, very positive way. Okay, and it starts now. All right, I will leave that with you, Leo. I hope it makes sense, and I hope that it helps if you're dealing with these energies. You have to tell me what it is, because it, it could be anything with all these majors. But I hope you go for it. I hope you give yourself a chance. Okay. Moving on to Virgo. Hey, Virgo, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. And if you are skipping ahead, please be sure to watch the intro as well. And you can also watch your sun, your moon, and your rising sign readings. Or your Venus sign. Okay, so let's see what's going on for Virgo. Summarizing Venus signs. Your cars, man. Virgo, summarizing Venus signs. In the week ahead. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. And the week ahead. Okay, I've seen a bunch of cards. I'm curious to see if I, if I see them in the spread. Okay. The situation is the Six of Pentacles. The challenge is the Wheel of Fortune. The outcome is the Hermit, your energy. Bottom of the deck, the Two of Swords. You've got decisions to make. I saw the hangman first. Contemplation, planning, waiting for the right time. I saw the knight of cups to offer something, to propose something. And the five of swords, I think I saw. There's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of things to be mindful of. There's a lot of people involved. There's a need to tread lightly because you feel like you don't have enough information or it's not the right time to proceed with something or to make something public or to go after something. Current situation, we have the Six of Pentacles. There's a level of balance and reciprocity here. This is good news to do with something you've asked for, applied for. Um, it's being given to you. This is goodwill as well, charity being offered to you, presented to you. I also see Six of Pentacles with the Two of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hermit. If you have been the charitable one, if you have been the one looking after others, providing for others, always supporting others, whether that's with your money, with your time, uh, your energy, you know, the go-to person for everyone, there is a change happening here with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, it's happening because it's meant to. The way I'm seeing this is... You've been struggling with a decision. You've been struggling with, okay, what do I do? When do I do it? How do I do it? For some time, that thing that you've been struggling with, it's happening on its own. You don't even have to do anything about it with the Wheel of Fortune. Change, the change, the endings, they're happening naturally. And it becomes a case of, well, you no longer have to figure it out. You just kind of have to go with what's happening. What I'm seeing is you are you have been the provider, however that makes sense. And in doing that, you have been paying off your karma. Paying off karma and creating very positive karma for yourself. As a result of that, that wheel has turned 
and it's turning in your favor with the hermit, your energy. And it's allowing you to embark upon a new path, to put burdens behind you. I'm seeing Saturn behind you. To put burdens behind you. To find your own path, to live your own life. That is what is changing. You being there for everyone else and you're last on the list or you didn't even make your own list of things to look after, right? You've been struggling with that. You've been thinking about how to kind of give more to yourself as well to try to restore some sort of a balance, but you've been struggling with it because you've been feeling guilty about it. In the background, this wheel has turned. Some responsibilities are naturally coming to an end. Some changes are naturally happening to free you from burdens and responsibilities so that you can follow your own path and you can do what makes you happy whether that's on your own or with someone or with a group of people, whatever the case may be, there's a shift here. And your challenge now is not to figure everything out, but rather to just go with what's happening because it's been figured out for you. Does that make sense? Interesting. Let's go to clarity here for Virgo. Six of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles. With the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Hangman. There he is, or she. With the Hermit, we have the Hierophant. Under the two of swords, we have justice. What did I say? Karma. Karma, karma, karma. Decisions that have already been made. Are you seeing all these majors? Choices, decisions, changes that have already been established, decided. They're already happening. You don't have to do anything, but just go with it. You have been in this work, 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 work mode. Why? Because you have to provide for others. Because you have to be there for others. Investing money, literal money, or your time, or your energy, or your emotions. You know, being a shoulder to cry on for the whole village. You know, fixing everyone's problems. Providing for everyone. And it's been that way for quite some time with the hangman you have been stagnant everyone else has been moving along with your help but you have been stagnant within yourself or your goals your dreams your own aspirations you have not been able to even think of them let alone nurture them because everyone else or external responsibilities have been taken away all your focus and all your resources you've been trying to figure it out figure it out and figure out a better way to do things so that maybe you could help others, but also kind of give to yourself a little bit as well. But you've been struggling with it because it makes you feel guilty. But like I say, in the background, by you doing what you've been doing, that wheel has turned. It's turning in your favor. You've paid off debt. You've paid off karma. And now you can focus on yourself more and the commitments that you want to make. You may be walking away from, like I say, commitments to providing for your family when they can actually provide for yourself, like extended family. Um, or them, obviously they're still gonna be in your life, but they're not gonna run your life anymore. You'll have time and energy and resources for yourself as well. You're choosing what new commitments to make or this could be a new commitment that is divinely guided in your life, whether it's romantic or work-related or whatever else is important to you. There's a long-term solid new commitment that you are now being freed up to invest in and to pursue because it's meant for you. Does that make sense? And things are just coming together and lining up with the wheel of fortune in a way where it's like you don't you don't have to know the answers you don't even have to try too hard you don't have to initiate things it's like it's just kind of happening <laughs> you know what I mean and you just kind of have to just go with it but it's awesome let's get some more energy here for Virgo So on a day-to-day -day level, like I say, this could be your dream job being presented to you. 
and it's something that you love to do, it might not make you as much money as what you're currently doing. But what you're currently doing, you're doing because you had to make a lot of money because you were providing for everyone else around you. Does that make sense? And now you're being given the opportunity to maybe take a step back in terms of finances, but it's what you love to do. And your finances will grow. But it's not just about the money for you. There's a spiritual element there. There's something that feeds your soul, not just your bank account. And you're finally given the opportunity with the justice card to pursue that for yourself because you deserve it. You've earned it. Meeting the love of your life. I don't know, right? And obviously, you're going to have to make some adjustments to shift focus, to make room for this person in your life, to make room for, you know, you thinking about this other person, you thinking about your relationship, you thinking about yourself, what kind of partner you want to be, and putting time and effort into that as well, not just everyone else. And there's shifts and changes that obviously have to happen with that, but you'll find that things are just kind of coming into place easily or, or a lot easier than what you expected. Why? Because this is meant for you, because you deserve this. So let's see, Oracle Energy and Advice for Virgo. So expect some very big and beautiful changes, Virgo. Bottom of the deck, Koi Fish Spirit. There is always enough. There is always enough. I love this. So where you are taking a step back financially to pursue what you truly want to do, what you truly love to do, you will have enough. This is also saying, don't worry about these other people that you've been worrying about and caring for. Whether it's friends or families, co-workers, carrying everyone else's burdens. They'll be fine, okay? There is always enough means they will be okay. Everyone will be okay. You don't have to worry about that. You just have to think of yourself right now. Nightingale spirit, love is all around. For a lot of you, yes, this is a massive shift happening in your love life. Meeting the one you will marry the one you'll have a family with or the one you settle down with your dream partner the one you grow old with and for others like i say it's something you love to do it's something that feeds your soul not just your bank account crow spirit co-create with spirit yeah it's something that like i say this is karma this is fate um that is now turning the wheel and co-create with spirit is literally what I said with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two Swords. It's not just on you to figure everything out. The divine is helping you. The divine is setting things into motion in just the right way. Where it's it's not just down to you to figure it out. It's already figured out. You just kind of have to go with it. Does that make sense? It's like dreading a conversation. That you know needs to happen, but you're dreading it. And you start talking to the person about something completely unrelated. You start talking about the weather. And before you know it, they come out with what you've been dreading to say. And all you have to do is say, you know what? I've been thinking the exact same thing. I'm glad we're on the same page. It's that kind of an energy here. Okay, so you're going to have to tell me what this is, Virgo, but it's amazing. Um, and you deserve this. You just, you just do. And I think you know that, and I think you're more than ready to just go with it and embrace this opportunity that is divinely guided for you. Okay? So that's pretty awesome. Okay. All right. All right. Moving on to, where are we? Libra. Hey, Libra. Thank you for joining us. How you doing? Be sure to watch the intro because there's information for you there. And be sure to watch your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign readings for more information that may pertain to you in these general readings. Let's see what's going on for Libra. Fluff. Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs in the week ahead. What's going on? Fluff. Okay. The Hermit flipped twice. So you might be dealing with a Virgo. Virgo might be significant. Okay, that's better. Libra, summarizing Venus signs in the week ahead. Here we go. So the situation, the magician, the challenge, the six of pentacles, the outcome, the ace of swords. It's similar to Virgo reading, which is why the hermit is flipping out. Or for some of you, you are cuspers. And this 
just means also watch the Virgo read. Bottom of the deck, the Emperor. So Libra, you're making some very big decisions. This is what I'm saying, okay? With the Emperor here, you could have Aries in your chart. You don't have to. This is where we just have to make the right decision for everyone involved, right? We, are, we know what it is. We may not be thrilled about it, but it's what's right. It's what's fair. Why? Well, with the Magician, there's a new beginning presented to you. There's a new beginning offered to you that you've been wishing for and manifesting in the background. And it could be your own business it could be a new job it could be something going on in your love life a, a, a very personal goal whatever it is it's it's for you okay it's just for you it's individually designed for you challenge six of pentacles well the challenge is you're currently looking after a lot of different people or you're you're currently uh responsible for providing looking after fixing their problems supporting them in any way they need of a lot of different parties and people that's why you're the emperor here right um and what is coming in like i say is individual to you not everyone gets to come and some changes are going to have to be made for you to have the energy and the resources to fully invest in this opportunity. So in the outcome, what's going to happen? Ace of Swords, well, some very clarifying conversations happening here with the Emperor and the Ace of Swords. And some things are cut out, reduced, burdens given back to the rightful owners. Um, I will no longer be enabling you type of conversations. You can do this for yourself. I've done it for so long. You've seen how it's done. You can do it. You're going to have to do it because I'm not doing it anymore. Type of conversations. Okay. Which is good on you. Good on you, Libra. Because I know it's a struggle. I know it's difficult for you to have these conversations. To actually put yourself first for a change. But again, with the Emperor here, I'm seeing this sense of clarity and and fairness coming from you but that also that includes you as well not just being fair to others and putting yourself last and it is a big shift because you've been in the six of pentacles energy you've been the carer the provider for a long time or for all your life but what is now coming in is too good to pass up and you recognize that and it's just for you so I'm glad you're making room for it. Let's get more clarity here for Libra. With the Magician, we have Death. Yeah. A whole new way of life. Something you haven't done before. Like I say. Six of Pentacles. Two Wands. Mm -hmm. Crossroads. And making different choices. Choosing a different path. Aries energy again. Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands. What did I just say? Carrying the burdens of others. Enabling. Talking to people about, you know, giving their responsibilities back to them. Giving their burdens back to them. Not enabling. Under the Emperor, we have the Fool. You have had to be the Emperor. You have had to be the one to keep it together. To, to explain everything. To fix everything. To give security to everyone else in your life okay you are the go-to person libra oh i need advice go to libra oh i need money go to libra oh i need help with this go to libra libra will help libra will figure it out libra will make it happen and before you know it you're carrying so much you have no energy you have no resources you have no time for yourself because you're doing everything for everyone else and it's been this this way for a good long while. Well, the divine sees everything. And again, it's a little similar to Virgo. You did what you were supposed to do in being the emperor for everyone else. You have paid off some debt. You have paid off some karma, Libra. And the divine is here to say with the death card that that's done now. 
that's done. You don't have to do that anymore. You are now free of that burden, of that debt, to pursue your own dreams, your own goals, your own happiness. It's not saying that you weren't free to do that before, but the circumstances were such that everyone else was a focus before you. Okay? And that's okay. And you did what you had to do for as long as you had to. What this is, is telling you, okay, it's done now. You don't have to be the one to keep it together for everyone else. Everyone else can figure it out for themselves. You've shown them how it's done. So if they keep coming to you for the same thing, even though you've shown them how it's done several times, that's just enabling. And this seeing the truth of that situation and then speaking the truth of that situation to these people and giving the burden back to them. Freeing yourself with the fool to go all in into this new opportunity. You have a number one in the magician in the ace of swords. The fool is a zero, but it's a new beginning energy full of potential. But it's a path for yourself. Everyone doesn't get to come. New path. New way of doing things. With the two of wands. Okay? And this is showing up as it is in your card sleeper. Because it's still your choice. It still has to be your choice. You will be presented with these opportunities. You will be presented with this crossroad. And the potential of choosing a new way of doing things. You will have this clarity. But it's still down to you to make the choice to embrace it and invest in it or to reject it and carry on as you have been doing. Okay, so I will leave that with you for consideration. Oracle Energy and Advice for Libra for the week ahead. Dolphin Spirit, this and that are true. So whatever is presented to you, it's genuine. It's true. You can believe it. You can trust it. It is worth your time. It is worth your investment. Truth is seen. Truth is spoken. With the Ace of Swords as well. Beaver Spirit. Lay a solid foundation. Number six. And I feel like you have done that. This means you have... What I say, you have been the security in everyone else's life. You've shown them how it's done. You've given them that foundation. That means you've done your part. Okay? Your role was to be there to help, to support, to teach them how to do it for themselves. And then leave them to it. Not keep doing it for them. Okay? And so again, this is just confirming you've done that. You've laid that solid foundation. You've done that. And badge your spirit. Be fearless and bold. Number four. Aries is number four. This is number four. I mean Aries, the emperor. Um, this is number four. It's a very, it's very much an independent energy. Stepping away from community. Stepping away from others. That doesn't mean, you know, you leave everyone behind, you don't talk to them anymore, but it's shifting focus. They're not main priority. They're not priority number one, two, three, five, and you don't make the list. Okay? It's time for you to be the emperor in your own life. And that's what we're looking at here. Okay? So I hope the reading helps you, Libra. I hope you see it in time. And obviously you'll see it when you're meant to, so I'm not concerned about that. But to put you in this mindset, to give you this clarity or to give you this confirmation, right? That yes, you're doing the right thing. Okay. Moving on to Scorpio. Hey Scorpio, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. Let's see what's going on for you in the week ahead. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Watch all your signs. And also watch the intro. Because there's information for you there. What's going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in the week ahead? Lord, Three of Cups, Happiness, Celebration, Success, Gatherings, 
social life. What's going on for Scorpio in the week ahead? In this situation, we have the Four of Pentacles. In the challenge, we have Justice. In the outcome, we have the Eight of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot. Um... What I'm seeing is a reluctance to move on or a reluctance to move forward. What is confusing about it is what you would be moving towards is something that is big, bold, and beautiful for you. But you're reluctant to follow that path. Okay. You're reluctant to release your current path with the Four of Pentacles because, well, there's fear, fear of the unknown. What if this, because this new path, Major Arcana energy with the Chariot, this is big, okay? So if it's a case of changing jobs, the Chariot would be something where you make almost double what you're currently making. And while you know that you probably deserve to be making double of what you're currently making, there's a fear of, what if I'm just being unrealistic? What if I should just be happy with what I have? What if I take a chance on this and then I even I lose even this, right? And that's why you're reluctant. This is all those what ifs with the Eight of Swords. Now, what's going to happen here? Justice is your challenge. So for some of you, it's a challenge to make this decision, yes. Because it involves cutting something out. And it's like, what if I cut the wrong wire? You know what I mean? But for others of you, I'm seeing justice as external to you, something that is already decided. It's major arcana energy. And it's just a case of, look, this is happening. Go with it, right? And then it becomes, oh my God, what are people gonna think? They're gonna think I did this. They're gonna think this, I did this on purpose. I told them I'm not looking and now I'm telling them I found this amazing other opportunity. Scorpio, this is a time for you to focus on yourself with the chariot. And whatever's coming in for you, you deserve, well and truly, okay? And you know this deep down, so bring it back to, to, to the right focus, which is who cares what others think. You know you deserve this. You know you've worked very hard for this. Just go with it, right? Haters are going to hate. You're never going to please them. You're never going to please everyone. You can explain yourself till you're blue in the face. People are still going to see what they want to see. So just take a deep breath. Be thankful for this amazing opportunity and go all in. Okay, is what I'm seeing. So let's get more information here for um, Scorpio. With the Four of Pentacles, yeah, what I say? Six of Wands. Big, bad victory. Justice. The Devil. Mm-hmm. This is the devil with the eight of swords this is what has been keeping you stuck this is what has been keeping you from even looking for other opportunities it's the negative self-talk it's what other people tell you that you just accept as truth right you should just be happy with what you have type energy or you're just being unrealistic are you really though scorpio are you really oh you expect too much do you really is that true what do you think? Is that the truth? And with the Eight of Swords, Page of Cups. I'm seeing this as your energy accepting what is being offered. And I'm loving it. Under the Chariot, the Sun. Amazing. Just amazing. A lot of majors. Scorpio, you're going to be seeing something. I just got chills. You're going to be receiving an offer. It could be something you applied for on a whim <laughs> I'm never going to get it but instead of saying you know what I'm never going to get it and you don't even do anything about it you this time you said I'm never going to get it I got nothing to lose though I'm just going to go for it you know those interviews that you walk into feeling like you got nothing to lose and you're just completely yourself no nerves no nothing because you're pretty sure you're not going to get it so why not and you get that job and they're like we were so impressed with you and it just completely takes you by surprise. That's what I'm seeing here. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. And who are you listening to? 
with the devil and the eight of swords who have you been listening to naysayers people who are too conservative because they don't even know their own worth so so it's like they hold on to what they have because they're afraid they're not going to get anything else or anything better that's who you've been listening to the way you were brought up be happy with what you have don't rock the boat you know whatever they give you just say thank you don't question it But is that true for you, though, with the Justice card there? And I feel like you've been assessing and analyzing things for a while, which is why there was that switch in behavior from, oh, my God, no, 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 I'm not even going to think about it, to, you know what, I got nothing left, to, I, I got nothing to lose, or I got nothing left to lose, or what's the worst that can happen? They say no. Right? There's a, there's a strength there and an inner confidence that you didn't have before. And it's paying off for you. It is paying off. Here comes that amazing new level money opportunity, new level career opportunity that is exactly what you deserve, that you know was what you deserve, but you've been questioning yourself because other people said, oh, you're being unrealistic, or you're being impossible, or you should just be happy with what you have because that's what they do, right? Or they intentionally wanted to keep you there, right? Co-workers or a manager telling you, you know what, I'm actually doing you a favor by giving you this job. You're not really, you're not really ready for it, but I wanted to give you a shot and I wanted to believe in you. They know full well that, that that's just BS, but they're telling you that to keep you there and to keep you doing whatever they want you to do because you feel like you owe them now. I literally, I'm seeing that scenario for someone. Same if it's family. And again, something switched where you said, you know what, what's the worst that can happen? They say no. Because your boundaries have been crossed one too many times. Because you've questioned yourself because of others one too many times. Because you've gone against what you truly felt was true for you one too many times. And whatever happened and transpired, it just taught you that actually you were right in the first place. And you should just trust your instincts, not other people. So beautiful inner transformation that is now being reflected externally to you in the form of this amazing opportunity. Scorpio, you're going to have to tell me what this is. But it's awesome. And good for you. You fully deserve this. And I feel like you know that. Oracle Energy and Advice for Scorpio in the week ahead. Bottom of the deck. Sandpiper Spirit. <laughs> Be playful. That's that energy. 51 adding up to a 6, like the 6 of Wands. That's that energy of, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. See what happens. Or I'm just going to go in there, expect nothing. Be completely myself. Crack a few jokes. And that's actually what gets you the job or whatever it is you're applying for, whatever it is you're, you're, you know, you're going for. Is that playful attitude. And playful doesn't mean not taking it seriously or making a fool out of yourself. That's not what that is. But it's just going with it and it, uh, having fun with it. Just having fun with it. Right? Instead of thinking, oh my God, I have this interview and being completely terrified what if this? What if that? Going into it thinking, you know what? This is going to be a new experience for me. Let's see what happens. I'm going to just, you know, it's a good opportunity. I'm going to be meeting some new people. We're going to have some interesting conversations. I wonder what kind of questions they're going to ask me because it's a different kind of interview. I've never done this before. Let's see what happens. Let's challenge myself and see what I do. I got nothing left to lose. I got nothing to lose. And that's what gets you this opportunity. Pro spirit, co-create with spirit. That's what you've been doing. That's what you've been doing. It's like you've been going through the motions. You've been going through the different experiences that have taught you about yourself. While in the background, breaking down patterns of thought and behavior about yourself that were just not true. 
you accept it as being true but they just weren't true but you didn't have enough confidence in yourself or a, a good enough understanding of yourself to question what was told to you okay and you went on this path of personal development with yourself with a trusted friend with a counselor reading a lot of self-help book self-help books in whatever capacity right and it's like now everything's coming together because you've shifted your energy you started attracting different things and at the same time you're attracting different things confirming to you that you're seeing things properly and it is what you deserve and those patterns are just breaking down and breaking down and breaking down and you're replacing them with the truth of who you are it's beautiful i love it armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries yep this is new ways of being, new understandings, new way of communicating, new expectations you have of yourself and others. If I treat you with respect, you treat me with respect. I do expect respect <laughs> if I give you respect. As opposed to I treat you with respect, you treat me the way you want to, but I'm kind of too shy to say anything about it. To establish boundaries or to reestablish and reaffirm my boundaries when they are crossed. Does that make sense? I'm loving this for you, Scorpio. You're going to have to tell me what this is. But you've got this amazing opportunity coming in that you just went for on a whim. You never thought you were going to get it, but you went into it with this playful attitude of see what happens, and it's here. Because it's literally what you deserve. And you knew that, which is why you went for it in the first place. Okay? Naysayers. You don't have time for naysayers with all this good stuff coming in. Okay? Just don't be one of those naysayers for yourself, right? And I feel like that is also something that is shifting within you, and it's amazing, and I'm happy for you. Okay, I'll leave that with you. You'll have to tell me what the, the, the reading is about, how these energies are actually transpiring in your life. But it's amazing. Okay, moving on to Sagittarius. Hi Sagittarius, thank you for joining us. Let's see what's going on for you. Watch your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. And also watch the intro if you're skipping ahead. What's going on for Sagittarius? Sun, rising, Venus signs in the week ahead. Sagittarius in the week ahead. In the situation, we have the Six of Pentacles in the challenge. The Ace of Pentacles in the outcome, the Five of Pentacles. Well, interesting, because one plus five makes six. Bottom of the deck, the Moon. Decisions, decisions, long term decisions that you feel you don't have enough information to make those decisions at this time. Looking at something that's way too far ahead into the future and you're expected to know the answers now, or that could be pressure you put on yourself. There's a lot of insecurity, confusion. I'm also going to caution you against getting into any sort of partnership that you don't know enough about because there's something kind of covert. There's something where you're being given part of the information. You have choices presented to you at this time, you know, what tasks to do, what projects to take on, who to work with, what orders to fill who to associate yourself with, who to spend time with. There is an opportunity presented to you, but it's coming up as the challenge. It's something that is presented to you as this will make you a lot of money or this is going to be a new source of long-term stability in your life. Be mindful of um, stocks. What is that? or um, investment opportunities is what I'm seeing. Someone telling you, oh, you're making good money now. I've got someone who uh, is into the stock market. They know how it's done. Do you, you know, if you gave me some money, I could get you involved in this and that and the other. Or is that kind of a thing? 
or someone's offering to partner up with you or offering you this opportunity telling you it's going to be amazing for you it's going to be something happy long term and successful but you have the five of pentacles here with the moon which tells me they're not giving you the entire information or they're trying to actually just basically con you out of some resources because it can lead to a loss money I also get reputation so just be extra careful Sagittarius who you associate yourself with during this time what I'm seeing here is that with the ace of pentacles and all the pentacles on the table and the moon when they present this to you it will be it will have a background it will have calculations it will have diagrams tables slides you know what i mean to the point where it looks like it is so well thought out every question has been thought about and answered the calculations are there the numbers are there so it will look like a really solid bet or a really solid investment be mindful of betting as well someone telling you oh i have a sure bet no they don't no they do not let's get more information here also be mindful of people asking you for money or asking you for help whether it's financial or not because you're dealing with someone who's a con or you're dealing with con artist or you're dealing with what did i get you know you have these programs or this is very specific but if it if it's you come back and tell me these reach out programs to help because i said con inmates previous people who come out um of prison or people who are less priv privileged or you're trying to do a good thing here with the six of pentacles you're trying to show someone grace and charity but i feel like who you're trying to help is not who they portray to be and they may take you take your money but not just your money they, they i feel like this is someone who it's not just what you want to give them that they take they take what you want to give them but they take more and i don't know if that means your reputation or literally stealing things from you be careful just be very very careful sagittarius let's get more information here so six of pentacles yeah the five of cups the ace of pentacles the five of wands and the five of pentacles the ten of wands under the moon the emperor aries energy this could even be a family member i'm just going to put it out there this could be a spouse yikes um it's something you're just completely oblivious to and for they're coming to you with a sad story five of cups they're coming to you with a very sad story and i'm not saying it's tr it's not true maybe it is maybe it's exaggerated or maybe it's complete fabrication but they're coming to you to pull at your heartstrings why because you have money status five of wands with the ace of pentacles i feel like they'll be very convincing slightly pushy right their first try the the sad approach the sad story approach and then it's like passive aggressive energy here guilting you a little bit or just applying the pressure however that makes sense why so that you don't ask too many questions so that you don't look too deep at it so that you just give them what they're asking for before you realize that it's just a lie there's illusion deception and I, I feel like you're left holding the bag so be very very careful Sagittarius just don't give anyone anything <laughs> this week okay just don't just don't just say no thank you I can't or I wish I could I don't I don't have the time the resources I can't or I can put you in touch I can you know advise you of where to go or how to handle the situation but I, I can't actually do that for you 
because I feel like for some of you this is just you know someone trying to con you out of some money by telling you some lies this could be someone talking to you about short bets short investment uh, or this could be someone who's doing something illegal and they're dragging you into it so that they can then take off with your money and you're left holding the bag you're left to deal with the consequences to be accused to get caught instead of them because you're associated with them does that make sense be very very careful Sagittarius let's see Oracle energy and advice this could be I feel like for a lot of you this is someone you used to look up to you used to think oh I wish I could be like that they were a mentor to you there was a, uh, they were an example of some sort to you and it's like you don't even you don't even expect you don't even it doesn't even cross your mind that they are they would stoop so low to do what they're doing okay bottom of the deck moth spirit surrender now so yeah just be very careful this is like being a, like the moth to the flame right is what i'm hearing And again, someone you looked up to, someone you put on a pedestal, someone you thought had everything figured out, someone you wanted to emulate. And it's easy for you to give in to them. It's easy for you to trust them. It's easy for you to surrender to what they're asking. Don't do it. Don't, do not. Butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful. Someone has changed and not for the better. Because you have the moth and the butterfly. Someone has changed and not for the better they're involved in in some nasty stuff they're involved in some illegal stuff questionable morally questionable stuff spider spirit make your dreams real but also someone's selling you a dream but it's not real it's just a web of lies okay so i feel like i'm just gonna leave it there because then i just i'll just start repeating myself you get the message you get the message okay because I'm not seeing, you have no indication. It's not like something's going to tell you, oh, this is too good to be true. You have none of that. You just have this level of comfort, security, um, a willingness to give, a willingness to trust. So you already know this person. Okay? Or is the type of person that as soon as you start talking to them, you feel like you know them. And again, they come prepared. They've got a web. They come prepared. It's like, okay, what questions are they going to ask? This and then the other. They have answers. They have calculations. They have slides. I'm not kidding. They have pictures, videos, written word. I don't know. They have something concrete, physical that you can touch, feel, look at, read, hear. But I'm telling you, be careful. Okay? They are not who they were when you knew them and looked up to them or they are not who they present themselves to be they're a con okay so I'll leave that with you I hope you see this in time and if you are drawn to watch the video I know you will see it in time to get this heads up okay and let me know what goes what goes down but i hope the reading helps you prepares you to deal with it the best way okay we're going to move on to capricorn hey capricorn how you doing thank you for joining us watch the intro if you're skipping ahead because there's information for you there and also watch your sun your moon your rising um rising signs your venus sign videos as well or videos readings i mean sorry i'm getting tired <laughs> What's coming up for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in the week ahead. Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in the week ahead. Situation. Nine of Cups. Well, that's not a bad situation to be in. Wheel of Fortune as your challenge. Five of Cups is the outcome. Bottom of the deck, death. Okay, I see what this is. This is rejection is God's protection. This is 
either something you want doesn't go to plan and you feel it as a loss but it's actually a blessing or you get something that you really wanted and you thought it's your dream come true but it goes away as soon as it comes in leaving you feeling at a loss and like why why did that even happen it's because it wasn't right for you it wasn't a good thing to, to have in your life it would have done more damage than good okay because I get this energy of you really really want this and you have been for forever and when it comes in it, you're just ecstatic you're just ecstatic but then it goes away and you're left completely confused I get this um, you were hoping to get back together with someone whether it's a romantic interest or a friend make peace with someone get back on you know get back where you left off uh, whatever it happens you're all excited and then it goes away why because they're not the right one for you the right one for you is trying to come in but they can't come in until you release this old experience does that make sense and so that's why this is happening there's a reason why something is coming back around and it's not to restart but it's rather to be completed does that make sense okay let's get more information here for capricorn the nine of cups the five of pentacles yeah the wheel of fortune the devil yeah and the five of cups three of swords well yeah under the death card the ace of swords i also see this as and you could be the one doing this okay you're reinitiating conversation with someone where there has been a breakup or a separation or a falling apart or a falling out um there is a re reinitiation of a conversation that someone takes to mean yay we're getting back together but it's actually closure right because this could be your energy or it just talks about something that was unhealthy uh triggering and in the time of separation you've learned a lot you've healed a lot so when this is coming back around while the other person is thinking yeah i'm getting capricorn back awesome your intention is actually to tie off loose ends so you can be free from this and it might leave the other person at a loss and heartbroken but I mean, I don't mean to sound cruel, but that's not why, what it's about. They need to learn what they're learning. They need to learn what your experience together is trying to teach them. You have, they haven't, which is why they're still stuck where they where you left off. And when you come back, they, they're thinking, okay, we're just going to pick that up, back up where we left off. Whether, it, But you are over here now. And you're saying, I want to talk about over here so that we can be done and release it and free both of us right but they're thinking oh you're still over here too and we can move forward together from where we left off does that make sense it, i i hope i'm explaining it right or this is briefly picking up where you left off with someone only to realize their bad behaviors are still there their patterns are still there their addictions are still there their toxic ish is still there and you were supposed to come back around to see that acknowledge that have that confirmation and then keep going put an end to it complete closure no longer being depressed over it no longer being heartbroken about it because you're seeing that actually while you have changed and grown and learned from the experience they're the exact same and it's just that confirmation that you know what i have been thinking about this person and hoping we get back together or hoping we make peace and, and have some sort of a relationship again 
I've been hoping for that for so long and holding on to it and feeling their loss and their absence. But now that I have re whatever, you know, I've, I've seen them again. I've talked to them again. We've talked about some things again after a time of no communication, not seeing each other. I have the confirmation that actually, no, it was a good thing that happened because it was a good thing that it ended. That's what was supposed to happen. That's the best thing. That's the healthiest thing that could have happened. It does not have a future. And while I wasn't sure of that and I was still pining over it, now I am sure. Now I, I know. I'm certain. So that's true closure and I'm free for a true new beginning, which is actually just around the corner for you with that two of cups right behind, okay? So let's get Oracle Energy and Advice here for Capricorn. Bottom of the deck, horse, spirit, freedom is yours. What did I say? I am now free. You may, seeing, may be seeing threes a lot or 33. Maybe even 13, 13 for some of you in the death card, for example. <laughs> So what is seemingly coming back together is actually coming back around to give you the, the closure, to give you the freedom from it. Does that make sense? Lion spirit, be generous of spirit. It's meant to teach you about yourself. 37, completion energy. You've come full circle with this. And you will have that confirmation with the Wheel of Fortune, another 10 energy. Synchronicities everywhere you will come full circle. You will go back to where you started only to realize how far you'd gone and only to realize that actually there's nothing more there for you. And that is what gives you the freedom. No more what ifs, no more pining, no more longing, no more, do you know what I mean? It's like, I know it's done. I see it and I feel it. Be spirit, sweet results await. Yeah, and a new beginning that will be very prosperous because you've done the work you've done the work and the reward for everything you've gone through and all the work that you've done and as a result the reward is not this coming back which is what you thought for the longest time the reward is this being done so that you can have a brand new beginning that will be everything that you deserve because this can never be what you deserve Okay, and it's just that knowing that clarity, that truth is what gives you the closure and the freedom to open up to new possibilities. And before you know it, they're right in front of you. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. I'll leave that with you. You're going to have to tell me what's going on and how the reading makes sense to you if it does. But it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It really is. I've been there, so I know it's amazing and how healing it is. And I know the freedom that I'm talking about here, so I'm, I'm happy for you. Okay. Let's move on to, where are we, Aquarius? Hey, Aquarius, thank you for joining us. If you are skipping ahead, always watch the intro as well. There's information for you there. And be sure to watch your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus sun uh, readings to get all the information that may pertain to you in these general readings. What's going on for Aquarius? Summarizing Venus signs, Aquarius. In the week ahead, when they need to know. The situation, King of Pentacles, the challenge, Eight of Swords, the outcome, the Two of Cups bottom of the deck, the Emperor. Interesting. I get this sense of feeling a bit like your hands are tied because of responsibility to something or someone. The Emperor at the bottom of the deck, we have Aries energy, it could be authority figure, father figure, it could be you. Uh, if you are the one calling the shots, be a manager. Current situation, the King of Pentacles. There's an there's an offer or an opportunity 
presented to you that you feel like you have to take with the eight of swords you feel like you don't really have that much of a say i mean you do and you could reject it but you feel like i kind of have to take it this is the natural next step for me so i don't know if it's coming up at a, at a, at a time when you're not necessarily looking to grow you're not necessarily looking to partner up with someone. You're not necessarily looking for elevation. But it's a good opportunity, right? It's too good to pass up. Because you do begin a partnership with someone here with the Two of Cups. That is mutual, be mutual. beautiful and mutual is what that is. Um, and fair. And it will bring growth in your life. I also feel like someone's offering to team up with you or partner with you. I don't know if it's in a romantic sense or with business or career, whatever. Someone's offering to partner up with you. You're looking at them as they have their stuff together. I feel like I don't. You're looking at them as they're better than me. They're on a higher level than I am. What if I get involved with them and they realize i i don't really know what i'm doing compared to them do you know what i mean because this is a lot of self-doubt and insecurity telling you to run the other way because I'm, I'm not good enough to work with this person but with the two of cups there this is asking you to just conquer your own fear this person would not be offering to work with you, to support you, to invest in you if they didn't believe in you, if they didn't, uh, if they weren't impressed with you. You don't have to impress them. They, they're already impressed with you. That's why they're offering to work with you or to partner up with you. Does that make sense? Let's get more information here for Aquarius. King of Pentacles, we have the Magician. With the Eight of Swords, we have the High Priestess. And with the Two of Cups, we have the Six of Pentacles. Under the Emperor, we have the Four of Wands. Yeah, definitely. Job offers, promotion, opportunities, uh, people offering to collaborate with you, to sponsor you, to fund your research. Quite specific for someone. Uh, or your fund your project. Um, and you're thinking you're withdrawing you want to withdraw because you're like i don't know i don't think <laughs> it's almost like you think they're not seeing you the right way they're they're putting you on on a pedestal you don't deserve to be on but where is that coming from okay with the high priestess this is telling you to take a deep breath to find your inner balance to quiet the mind okay so maybe meditate pray do what you can to ground yourself to quiet that mind because it's going in overdrive in the wrong direction okay and we don't want it to cost you an opportunity that is amazing for you and it's actually what you deserve okay with the magician there and the six of pentacles and actually with the two of cups and the six of pentacles you think you're on different levels and they're higher than you but with the two of cups here and the six of pentacles under it this is being on equal footing aquarius this is being on equal footing. They acknowledge that. You see yourself as less than. So take this as that confirmation that you are on equal ground. You are matches for each other. You are true partners. Okay? It might not have to be that you make exactly the same amount of money. But it's about the bigger picture. If you view them as, oh, they make more money than me. Well, you have more experience than them. You have things to teach them if it's not just contributing financially. Does that make sense? You blend together. You don't have to be exactly the same. That's not what a successful partnership is. You blend together and you grow together. Okay? So I hope that makes sense to you and I hope that it helps you. Quiet that mind. Stop comparing it's not necessary and it's actually giving you some false information let's see oracle energy and advice for aquarius for the week ahead
Owl spirit, you see clearly now. Number 43. So this is asking you to see the truth of the situation. To be fair. Okay? What is happening with my laptop? I was literally in the middle of recording and <laughs> I think it almost went to sleep. What? Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, to be true and truthful and honest and seeing things fairly, seeing things for what they really are. Because with the Eight of Swords, you're overthinking but in the wrong direction. Do you know what I mean? What you're telling yourself is true and then you're overthinking, that's not true. So what are you overthinking really? Do you know what I mean? Moth spirit, surrender now. And this is an energy of embrace the opportunities that are presented to you. Allow them to transform you and allow them to take you where you deserve to go. Don't question things. Don't to the point where because we can question a good thing to the point where we just destroy it. Okay. Beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. This is telling you to just just do the work, just go with it, and see where it takes you. You don't have to know all the steps. You don't have to have the whole process lined up in front of you and defined now. All you need to know is your next step and the initial goal, and that's what you work towards. And you take things one step at a time. That's how I'm seeing this. You take things one step at a time, one thing at a time, and you will have confirmation every step of the way that yes, I made the right choice. Yes, I did the right thing. Yes, we're actually a good match for each other, whether that's romantic and business, friendship, collaborations of any sort. Yes, I do deserve this. Yes, this is for me. I can do this. I like doing this. Okay? You're just going to have to give yourself the opportunity. Just go for it and see what happens. Quiet that mind, especially if it's being negative. Okay? So I will leave that with you, Aquarius. I hope it makes sense and I hope that it helps you. You're going to have to tell me what this is about, but it's amazing. It really is. All right. Okay. And then we're going to move on to Pisces. Hey, Pisces. How you doing? If you are skipping ahead, please make sure to watch the intro as well. There's information for you there. And be sure to watch your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign readings to get all the information that may pertain to you in these general readings. What's going on for Pisces in the week ahead? Pisces, sun, rising, Venus signs. Pisces in the week ahead. Hold on. Nope. Okay. Okay. Situation is the full. The challenge is the magician. Okay. And the outcome is the seven of swords. Bottom of the deck, the knight of swords. Interesting. I'm getting... I'll get more clarity in a minute, but I'm getting... Um... A, a confidential energy of keeping things close to your chest. I'm seeing the potential for misinterpretation. You're going into something all innocent. I don't know who you're talking to. I don't know if this is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But or if you're misinterpreting things, or it's just miscommunication. But I'm seeing the potential, with the Magician and the Seven of Swords, the potential for misinterpretation, miscommunication. And then the Knight of Swords can be a bit of a tense situation or conversation. Is this your problem though? Is my question to you, Pisces, because this is external to you. You're living life over here with the fool. This is a new beginning that you're just jumping into. 
you're starting a new job, you're starting a whole new career, you're starting your business and you're excited, you're starting a new relationship and you're excited, you're telling people about your relationship and you're excited. This is whatever you're doing just makes you happy. And that's who you are. That's where you are. People are looking at you. You know how when you see the end result of something and you have no clue what it took to get there, right? It's easy to judge or it's easy to compare or it's easy to criticize or it's easy to be jealous of. But if you actually sat down and asked that person what it took for them to get where they are, you'd be like, no, I don't want that. No, I'm good. I'm good where I am. I don't want what you got if that's what I have to go through. And there's something there around that kind of an energy. And the, the, the Knight of Swords can be you clarifying, right? Someone could make a comment. I'm seeing like snide, a snide comment or a passive aggressive thing with the Seven of Swords. Um... To the extent of, I don't know, you've been through a lot and they say, oh, you just got lucky and you got that because you're lucky. And you're like, seriously, do you know what I've been through to get that? Are you serious? Is that what you think? Okay, something along those lines. Just clarifying and putting some someone in their place in a way. Because they're trying to put a spin on on something that it took a lot from you to get there. And they're trying to make it seem like, oh, yeah, it just happened because you're lucky or you know the right people. Hmm. Now, I don't know who this person is because with the fool, I see most of you just like you're aware of it, but you just you're just not paying attention. You're just completely turning your back on this person. You will not tell them anything else that you're doing. You'll cut them out. They're not your friend. You don't want to be friends with them. And you're just leaving them to it. That might actually upset them and, and, and take them off even more because you're not giving them attention. And if it's a case of someone having a bad day and they're being snide or passive aggressive, but actually they're okay most of the time, they're just having a bad day, do you know what I mean? Then you can clear things up with that person and make that effort, but it'll be up to you. Let's get more clarity here for Pisces. With the Fool, we have the moon with the magician we have the five of wands yeah i mean jealousy and competition and comparing and and with the seven of swords we have the hierophant under the knight of swords we have the empress yeah look what i'm looking at here you're the empress pisces male or female doesn't matter but in order to be the empress, you have had to go through a lot of, oh, just a lot, okay? Everything you've been through has hurt you, broken you, and you've had to figure it out, pick yourself back up, and every time you got broken, you came back stronger and wiser, okay? To the point where you know your worth, you know who you are with the Empress and the Fool. You're experiencing something that you truly deserve now. And it's big and it's bold and it's amazing. From the outside looking in, you make it look easy, Pisces. You make it look easy. Right? People look at you and, and think, uh, I can't, they can't explain it. Right? So they come up with excuses or they come up with, oh, then Pisces must know the right people. Or Pisces is just lucky. Because they don't see the background of it. They don't see everything you've had to go through because you don't talk about it. They just see the end result. And you make it look easy. Even though it was torture. The challenge with the magician is the five and the five of wands. This is competitiveness. This is someone judging. This is someone comparing. This is someone trying to stir the pot. And like I say... For some of you, you're aware of this person, but you're not even going to engage. You're just going to cut them out. For others of you, you might put them in their place in, in a very graceful way that you do. But you're going to be direct. Nothing you'll say will be wrong. 
but you'll make sure they get the message, hence being blunt with the Knight of Swords. The Seven of Swords and the Hierophant, I feel like this is where, this is about some sort of commitment that you're making at this time because you, you deserve this offer, you deserve this opportunity. And the Seven of Swords with the Five of Wands, there is some jealousy here. And it's human nature at the end of the day. But what I want to say is, maybe it's time to do some spring cleaning in your friendships. Um, because if someone is unable to be completely happy for you, if someone questions that you know you actually deserve this, that means they don't know who you are as a person. That means they don't know what you've been through. That means they don't know how given and, and, and deserving you are. And it's just easy to make excuses or comments. Do you really want that person in your life, Pisces? What are they going to do? What are they going to contribute to your life? You know what I mean? So maybe it's time to cut someone out here. And for others of you, what I'm seeing is you're entering a commitment that makes you just completely happy and ecstatic but you're keeping it to yourself with the moon and the seven of swords because you know people are not going to get it and you're just keeping it to yourself you're giving people the bare minimum people might be pushing for information but you're keeping it to yourself because you know they're not going to get it because they don't know what it took to get there right but the thing to focus on is this amazing amazing commitment that you're jumping into at this time okay so those all fell so we'll take them grasshopper spirit take a leap of faith and that's the full energy you're definitely starting something new and big at this time spider spirit make your dreams real this is a wish come true i'm also seeing that as strategizing with the seven of swords there as well strategizing when you're going to tell this person when you're going to tell the other person i know what they're going to understand i know this person is not going to get it i need to adjust my pitch i need to adjust what i'm saying or how i'm saying it type energy otter spirit you're never alone this will be for some of you changes in your love life you're you're meeting the one you're telling people you've met the one this could be where you tell people you're already married um and it completely takes them by surprise and they have some opinions about it but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter because it's done you know what i mean and it's what you want and it's what makes you happy um it's that kind of an energy badger spirit be fearless and bold yeah you know you're doing the right thing you're you know you're on the right track to other people it may look like you're a little crazy but to be fair, I think that's true of a lot of Pisces because we, I'm a Pisces son, we operate differently. We're not just in the 3D. We see things, we feel things, we sense things, we visualize, our intuition is on point. We work, we just, we're just wired differently, right? You know, for, for a Pisces, it's easy to say, I'm just gonna take a chance on this because I feel like it's right. You talk to someone or, you know, someone who's, I'll believe it when I see it, they'll look at you and think you're crazy. They'll look at you and try to talk you out of it because they mean well, but because they, they don't see what you see, they don't feel what you feel. Does that make sense? So this is telling you, be who you are, do what you're doing, you know what you're doing. I feel like you're not even going to take it personally if any comments are made because you know not everyone's going to get it and you're okay with that and you should be. It's not your problem what they get. Aw, uh -uh. swan spirit, time for a deep dive. Absolutely. Another six. Definitely a lot of changes happening to do with love life. And again, not everyone's going to get it. People are going to tell you you're moving too fast. People are going to tell you to be patient, to be careful. And some people might make some snide comments, but for the most part, it could be a case of they're just trying to make sure you're thinking about things. They're trying to protect you. They're trying to keep you safe, and they just don't understand because they don't know what you know, right? They don't feel what you feel. But you know this is good, you know this is right, and you're just gonna follow it through. You're not gonna go overboard trying to explain yourself. What you will do with the Knight of Swords, I feel like you're gonna put up boundaries if they don't get it and they keep asking for explanations and that you know they're not gonna understand. You can just say, you know what? You don't have to understand this. All you have to do is support me. That's it. 
right? That kind of a conversation is what I'm seeing here. But there's new commitments happening this week, Pisces, that are big, bold, beautiful, and long-term and long-lasting. You'll navigate, you'll know what to say to, to whom at what time, but it's amazing, so I'm very happy for you. Okay, I will leave that there. Tell me what it's about for you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.